A Swiss startup company, Mirai Foods, has perfected a new technique that allows the cultivation of thick, tender steaks. Tenderloin is the softest part of a cow. This muscle, taken from near the animal's backbone, has an almost buttery texture. Highly sought after, this most prized of cuts has a reputation for being the highest priced of all beef types. Attempts to make lab-grown tenderloin have been challenging. Previous efforts could only manage very thin slices or minced meat. However, Mirai Foods has succeeded in producing the first full, thick steaks that are suitable for commercial use. The company has developed a new bioreactor for the efficient cultivation of tissue. This uses 100% natural cells in a completely GMO-free process. Long, fully mature muscle fibers are grown inside the device pictured here, then combined by enzymes and supplemented with cultivated fat tissue. After five days in the bioreactor, a tenderloin centerpiece is complete, from which steaks of almost any thickness can be cut. Other types of meat can already be produced in the lab, said Christoph Mayer, CEO and co-founder of Mirai. A filet steak is the ultimate challenge. It consists of different cell types, which, if combined correctly, result in a complex meat structure. This structuring process is technologically challenging, making steaks extremely difficult to produce. That's why Mirai Foods is taking an important step towards sustainable meat with the first cultivated beef tenderloin steak. We can deliver a real alternative to conventional meat, said Suman Das, CSO and co-founder of Mirai. Using our technology, one can prepare and eat a real steak and know that no animal had to die for it and the climate is not harmed. Nutrition is a huge lever for greater climate protection and animal welfare, he added. Demand for meat is expected to double by 2050. Conventional methods of meat production cannot meet this demand at all, and certainly not in a sustainable way. In the longer term, the company aims to offer a wide range of meat varieties. For now, however, the startup is focusing on premium beef, which has the largest environmental footprint of all meats. For more science and technology news, visit our website at futuretimeline.net.